Here's what's wrong with our people today. They trust in oppression. Let's get Isaiah chapter 30, verse 12. Yes. That's wrong with our people today. They trust in oppression. They don't want to keep God's laws. They despise God's laws. Read that when you get it. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, and verse 12. Bring it out. Wherefore, thus said the Holy One of Israel. So this is what the Lord is saying to Israel. You so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics. Listen, read. Because ye despise this word. So our people despise this law. They want to go out and get drunk, get high. They want to do everything contrary to the Bible. Read. And trust in oppression. Our people, they trust in oppression. That's right. They rather go vote for somebody that despises them. Read Joe on. Biden. What is Joe Biden going to do for our community? What are any of these politicians going to do for our community? Our people, they trust in oppression. Right. Read. Perverseness. Our people love perverseness. They love to go sleep from woman to woman, man to man. They love perverseness. Read. And stay there on. And stay there on. So, hey, let's get Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. It's the book of Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner. Right, so the ox knoweth his owner. Read. And the ass his master grill. Read. Who? Israel! Read. Do it not know! Israel do not know. They don't know who they are. They don't know who their God is. Read. My people do it not consider. Our people don't even consider. Our people do not consider that they are the greatest people on the planet Earth. They don't, they don't consider that they are Israelites according to the Bible. When the Bible's coming out, we're speaking about you, black man. We're speaking about you, black sister. We're speaking to you. Israelites, read. A sinful, a sinful nation. Why our people is a sinful nation. That's all they like to do is commit sin. They hate righteousness. And hey, let's see, let's find out what righteousness is. Go to uh, Deuteronomy chapter 6 and 25. Because we got to know, we got to read the Bible, precept about precept. We got to teach our people what righteousness is. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 25. We got to observe through all the commandments, not just a couple, not just the one that you feel like doing, not the ones that you, this, uh, that's convenient for you. We got to observe through all God's commandments. So let's go back to uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 4. Read. A sinful nation. Right. A people laden with iniquity. Right. Our people is a sinful nation and laden with iniquity. Our people, they, they'll rather go out and get drunk and get high on the Friday nights. They'd rather go to church on the Sunday, which is not according to the Bible. They are, our people are laden with sin. Read. <laughs> and a seed of evildoers. Seed of evildoers. Read on. Children that are corrupt, they have forsaken the Lord. Our people are corrupt. They have forsaken the Lord. They would rather go into religion. They would rather celebrate uh, Christmas, all these, these wicked holidays that had nothing to do with the scriptures. Because our people, they don't care about God's laws. They think they can do whatever the hell they want with no consequence. Read that. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 66 and verse 15. Read. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. Right, so in the day of the Lord, the Lord is coming with fire. He's not coming to give hugs and kisses and lollipops and all that like the white man has brainwashed our people to believe. He's coming with that fire. Thermonuclear weapons. Read. 
chariots Read. like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury. Right. The most Christ is coming with anger, fury, vengeance for not keeping his laws, statutes, and commandments. Read. And his rebuke with flames of fire. Right. That's how Christ is coming. He's come to rebuke the, the sons and daughters of God who haven't been keeping God's laws. He's not coming. He's not coming nice and, and uh, holding people's hands. He's come with judgment. Read. Right. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. Right. When Christ is coming, he's not going to plead for y'all to keep the commandments. He's not going to do That's that. Right. He's coming to kill. That's, right. That's what he's coming to do. He's coming to kill. Read. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. When Christ comes, he's coming billions of people. He's going to kill billions of people. One third of the Israelites is going to be remaining. Two thirds are going to die. They're going to perish. How you doing, sis? You got a question? How you doing? I just want her to know where she comes from. Alright, hey, can I for a second? So we're going we gonna, to uh, find out where you're from. This the, Go ahead, read. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 4 and verse 26. But Jerusalem, listen, which is above, uh -huh. is free, which is the mother of us all. So that's where you're from, sis. You're from Jerusalem. You're not from Africa. He would tell you that's where you're from, right? Africa? So that's where we're from. We're from Jerusalem. So let, let's get Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Read this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right. So because of us disobeying God's laws, statutes, and commandments, so, now we have these curses. Now we get shot down in the street. Now we, we're the last one hired, first one fired. You know what I'm saying? Living in the hood, living in the ghetto. You know what I'm saying? Living in the body of the reservation. Because we didn't want to keep God's laws. That's why we are cursed nations. We are below all nations because why? We didn't want to keep God's laws. We refused it. And, and during the time of Moses, right, we didn't listen to his laws. And we was cursed all the way up to now. Yeah. Right here by the house. So, so, so sister, you know that you are, you are not supposed to be wearing pants. You know that? I know that. I know that. Say again? I know that part. Okay, so have you, have you thought about getting some uh, breast fringes on there? You know those pants? Let's get, let's get, uh, Deuteronomy 15, 5. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Right, so, so the scripture says that a woman is not supposed to wear what pertains to a man. So when you have pants on, that put a spirit on you. That put a, a manly spirit on you. That put a spirit on you that, that can't nobody tell you what to do. You see, now they need to hear. Put a, a manly spirit on you. Thank you. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Right, so a man, he's, he's not supposed to wear a dress. What would, what would you think of a man if he came up here right now with a dress on? Would they you take, do it every day. Would, exactly, but you don't take him seriously, right? Um, no, because, no, because now it's cross-dressing. It, it's cross-dressing, because that's what God said. He said he don't want his, his daughters to wear pants because they put the spirit on them. And, that, and that's cross-dressing, and, and that's just like when, like Tyler, you are Tyler Perry, right? The movie Tyler Perry, and, and Medea dressed like a woman, right? Put a spirit on. You see, but see, that's what they do. They make our people think that it's funny, it's, it's okay, because then when we watch that, we're gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna wear that. I'm gonna wear a dress. It's okay for me to wear a dress. They they normalize that because they want us to keep it in sin, to stay in sin. They don't want us to know God's law. Read on. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. So it's an abomination system for you to be wearing pants. God, God don't like that. It's an abomination to him. A lot, a lot of people don't understand that, that it's an abomination to God. It makes them sick. But that's all you see. You, say, you see the system wearing pants. That's all you see. But it's an abomination to the Lord. He hates that. So you, so you must repent and come out of those pants.
Let's get uh, Psalms 19 and 7. This is what you gotta do. If you're serious about, about loving the Lord and changing your ways, this is what you gotta do. Read that. This is the book of, this the book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 7. Uh -huh. The law of the Lord is perfect. Right, so, so God's laws are perfect. There's no imperfection in God's laws. His laws are perfect. Read. Converting the soul. Right, so the Bible, keeping God's commandments, that changes you. That changes your soul. That changes you, how you think and how you move. That's the only way that you can be changed is by keeping God's law. Read. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Right, so, so this Bible, keeping this Bible, is the surest way to change, change your ways. Keeping God's law, it, it changes uh, a brother who's a dope boy. It changes him to think that, you know what? I don't want to sell dope to my people no more. By him keeping the, keeping the laws of God, he, he won't want to do that no more. He want to change his ways. Because this is the only way that a dope boy can change. Or a person who's a whore monster, from different women and women. Applying these like prostitutes, like that. If they apply this law, they apply this Bible, they don't want to live that lifestyle no more. They're going to change their ways. Because this is the only way that they can do that. Read. Making wise the simple. Right, so this makes a person wise. When, when you're not keeping God's laws, it makes you simple. It makes you simple. He gonna bring it. So this is what we gotta do. We gotta repent. We gotta change our ways. And the only way they can do that is keep God's law. That's what. That's the only way we can repent. You gotta, you gotta repent. So you gotta, you gotta come out of those pants. You gotta change your ways. Change your mindset. So we're gonna read one more scripture for you before you have to go. This is the book of Acts, chapter three and verse nineteen. Repent ye therefore and be converted. That your sins may be blotted out. Right, so we have to repent. When we do that, our sins become blotted out. That's, don't, don't you want to get your sins blotted out? Don't you want to, uh, God to erase your sins? Yeah. So, so that's what you got to do. You got to repent. You want God to forgive all the things that you've done? Forgive uh, the sins that you've done before? So you got to what? Repent. Exactly. Repent from your ways. Read on. When the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. All right, so if you don't repent, sister, it, it's going to be some judgment on this earth. And you, you don't want to get hit by that fire. You want to change your ways. Come out of your sin and repent, sister. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.